Okay, so this movie is basically what we should have got with Fifty Shades of Grey, only it has lesbians! And their scenes... Well, yeah, their scenes are pretty, pretty graphic. The Handmaiden. So The Handmaiden is the latest Japanese, Korean, comedy, romance, drama, mystery type movie. And stars, please forgive me if I get their names wrong, Kim Min Hee, Kim Tai Ree, Ha Jung Woo, and Chu Jin Wung. I probably butchered all their names there, I mean, I, I'm, I'm sorry. This movie centers around a con man who is set on marrying a lady who is heir to a very large fortune. And in order to con her, he enlists the help of a very young, naive pickpocket to be her handmaiden. And whenever he's around as the Count, all she has to do is try and convince the lady that she is in love with this guy. And considering she seems to be a very young, naive and innocent person herself, it should be pretty easy. However, when the handmaiden, Suki, I believe is the character's name, I could be wrong there, when she starts to grow feelings for the mistress, whose name I believe is Hideko. I could be wrong again, but I'm pretty sure that's it. She starts to back out of the original con. She starts to back out of the original plan because she's getting feelings for this woman. And in return, this woman may actually be getting feelings for her as well. There is so much more to this movie that meets the eye. I mean, it's set up in a three-act structure and each act focuses on a particular character. And as each act goes along, questions that you have unanswered start to slowly become answered, especially towards the end. Because throughout the film, these three characters all have their own agenda. And the way the script is crafted around these characters, you are continually engaged and invested in what is happening, in what you are seeing unfold on screen. I'm serious, I couldn't take my eyes off the screen for this entire film, which is a lot to say considering it's two hours and a half. Sure, there are moments where the pacing does drag on a little bit, and towards the end I feel like they could have ended it a lot sooner than they did, but for the most part, this is a very emotionally powerful, if erotic, love story. This movie does make you care about these two girls, it makes you want to see them come out on top by the end. And the chemistry between the two girls is really good, both actresses do a fantastic job in this film, in fact, Every actor in this movie gives an incredible performance. And what I didn't expect after seeing the trailer for this film is this movie has a lot of really smart and clever comedy thrown in. There are points in this film that I've got personally hilarious and it could be the sort of awkward moments that the handmaiden Suki has with the mistress or it could be in the way that the con man is trying to hit on the mistress. What this movie does so well is it expertly blends drama, mystery, suspense, romance and comedy all into one and it works. Not many movies can do that when they have two opposing tones in a certain scene. Their entire movie can be dragged down, but this movie was able to do it in multiple tones that kept running throughout the entire film and I never got bored. I mean, the directing for this movie is absolutely gorgeous. The cinematography is genuinely beautiful. Yeah, sure, the sex scenes in this film are incredibly graphic and probably should have been as graphic as what Fifty Shades of Grey should have been doing. I mean, there are scenes in this movie where the mistress is reading out very dirty, erotic books to her dirty uncle and his group of gentlemen. And of all erotic to certain points, these scenes are more hilarious because the director chose to do particular shots on certain characters that just make you burst out laughing. Overall guys, this is a very passionate if erotic love story between two characters that you just want to see be happy in the end. It has some great humour, the mysteries surrounding these characters keep you fully engaged from beginning to end, and although the pacing does drop at certain points and the end I feel could have been cut out a lot sooner, I think this is a gorgeous looking movie that is so well directed, perfectly acted, and a movie that I definitely recommend you guys go and see if you do get the chance because I'm going to give The Handmaiden Four stars. So, The Handmaiden, have you guys seen it yet? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks as always for watching, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share the video with our friends. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, then subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks again for watching. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you all in the next video.